Hey, good morning, church. Pastor Chris here, coming to you from Kansas City this morning. Uh, I'm here for one of my doctoral classes. And as you can see outside, it's snowy and uh, a nice 29 degrees, good and brisk. Uh, I do pray that it's warmer where you're at. <laughs> I know it is, and I'm actually very excited to get back down there to that warmer weather. But uh, this morning, I just wanted to share something with you. I've been thinking back to our time this past Sunday together as we, uh, we worship the Lord together and read of his word, that passage that Jesus prays for us in John chapter 17. And essentially what he prays for us as his disciples is that we would be in the world, but not of the world. You know, he specifically says, I pray, Father, that you would not take them out of the world, but that you would keep them from the evil one. And we see in this the importance that we are supposed to be different from the world, because we're supposed to be different than the evil one. The evil one is the ruler of this world. And I think we understand that. But what's really important is that part of that call to not be of the world is the other portion of Jesus's prayer, that we are sent into the world. We're sent into the world with a mission and a purpose. And that's the thing I've really been thinking on. Did you ever have that phase as a child where Maybe you wanted to be a, a first responder or, you know, for me, there was a phase that I went through. I wanted to be a fireman. You know, firemen were so cool. Well, first off, they got to drive in these big trucks, but they were specifically set apart in how they were dressed. You know, they had a, a big helmet. Oftentimes they'd have to wear masks, you know, big, heavy jackets and pants and gloves. You know, they were set apart and they were set apart for a specific purpose. You could see in how they were dressed they, they had a specific goal in mind and a specific mission in mind. And for firemen, that was quite specific. Their first goal was to be able to go in and rescue anybody from an inhabitable situation, a dangerous situation. And they were equipped for the task. You know, I, I'm not trying to romanticize it, but in a way, I feel like that's what God has called us to when it says that we are sent into the world. You know, the reality is, when Jesus prays that we would not be of the world, what we're seeing in that is that we would be stripped of all the things that this world represents. We're stripped of selfishness. We're stripped of darkness. We're stripped of being held underneath the bondage and the weight of sin. And ultimately, we're given new equipment. So when Jesus prays for us to be sent into the world, He's also equipping us to be sent into the world. And that's for a mission. That mission is to go to those that are caught in the darkness. Kind of like when somebody gets caught in a fire, oftentimes, you know, it could be dark or smoky and it's just, you, you wouldn't know which way is up. And how grateful you would be that somebody like a fireman would come in and be able to show you the way out. Well, that's kind of what we are. That's what we're called to do. Under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, we're called to rec rescue those who are caught in the domain of darkness by shining Jesus' light to them. I tell you this because I think it's so important for us to hold in mind that desire to go to the world and tell them about the light of Christ. That has to be something that's a burden within our hearts. It's something that's foremost for us as believers. And really what I believe segments us, sets us apart from being of the world. We're no longer consumed with building our own kingdom. We're consumed with advancing his kingdom and telling the world about it. This week we have the opportunity to hear from Brian Brewer of Underground Coffee. He's going to be sharing with us just a little bit of his heart's burden to reach uh, the people of Laos and uh, to carry the gospel to them and to raise up the awareness of Christ and those abroad. And I hope in that you'll be able to join us and just hear the call of what it is for us to be mindful of those around us. Yes, internationally, but also in our own neighborhoods. Do we truly have in our hearts a desire to shine the light of Christ? Because church, that's why he sent us into the world. I pray this is an encouragement to you and that uh, you would shine brightly with the light of Christ. Have a blessed day.